right, now this is Peridot, large shoulder dragon. He was bought just last year, just like Callum Moore, and he is designed to go with my Huntress costume. So he has chain mail. I just don't put it on him all the time because it's very, very heavy. And uh, I was actually warned by Midsummer Night's Dream that it could possibly break the cable going to his head. He has the last copper cable. But uh, moral of the story, don't buy chain mail for your baby's head because I broke his and had to take him back at the fair and have him fixed. So don't do it. Now he's pretty good about not doing the large heavy head thing where he just kind of tipples over. Every once in a while he'll do a quick jerk like that, but and that he doesn't really do the broken neck thing horribly, which is one of the reasons why I picked him out. Um, he also has a chainmail breast piece, so he goes with my chainmail huntress outfit. So. <laughs> he's spoiled. Other than Ren Fair, he doesn't really get out because he's huge. <laughs> but every once in a while, I'll sneak him out. I kind of try to rotate my babies. Get all of them some loving. But he has barn on the biggest wood baby we own. <laughs> I'm thinking about either getting a large dragon, because I heard they redid the sculpt, or a wolf. And I'm probably going to get a wolf, because I already have Paradox. I don't know what I'm going to do with him, how I'm going to wood babies, but we'll figure it out. He probably has one of the smoothest motions. Because he's so cute. He comes to Halloween with me. He goes anywhere that I go dressed up. And he'll get his chainmail on for the occasion. Alright, so that is... Paradox.